Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously, I did this um, parametric curtain family, and today I'm going to create another one about the curtain family, but uh, I'll talk about a little bit more. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. And so go, let's go to 3D view, and I'll place some wall. Okay, so I'll make it 3 meter high, and uh, like this. Now let's create a curtain wall and I'll use them as windows and I'll make it 2400 high. So I'll place one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so now, so the first I'm going to show you a uh, model in place. So if you, if, if you just need one or two, you can just um, model it in place, use model in place, and I'll just use the mass and okay. So first, the first one I'm going to show you is the ref use um, spline, okay. And then the second one will be spline through points. I'll show you the difference, okay. So first one spline, and draw on work plan, set work plan. So um, this, okay, so sorry, um, it's now on the work plans on ground floor, that's fine. So, uh, we can just directly draw, draw it here. So, this is the first one, uh, and also I noticed that this I change back to model line. I'll just check this reference line, okay? So, now we need another one at the top, so reference spline. Set work plan. This time, I'll just pick the, you know, this the top work plan of this uh, curtain wall. So, which is here, yeah, this one, and then let me rotate it a little bit, and then just roughly draw it um, at the same location. Okay, so finish, and select these two reference line and create form. So I'll change it to shade SD. Uh, maybe I'll give it uh, a material. Okay, so new material and appearance. So I'll give it a color and maybe some transparency. Uh, maybe 20%. And graphic, I'll just check that one. So okay, so now we have this curtain um, model in place, and now I'm going to show you the difference uh, between spline and spline through points. Okay, so this is a spline. If I go to elevation, trying to click um, the arrow up arrow on my keyboard, it won't move. You can't move the spline and you have to use um, ref uh, word plan. So the, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to the elevation, draw a reference plan maybe, and then Trying to select this reference line and pick pick the work plan of this reference plan. So now if I I'll close this one and WT, so see these two view. So you can see this line go up. And also if I need to adjust the height, I can just move in elevation. Okay, I can move this uh, reference plan. So okay and. That's that's the first one. I'll finish this one and then let's do uh, the second one. So the second one, uh, it will be same model in place, mass, and okay. But this time the difference is I'm going to use spline through points. Okay, so um, quite similar. You can just draw on work, work plans and I'm um, currently it's ground floor. That's fine. I'll draw the first one, the lower. One. I'll, I'll close this one, and the, so the lower part, the lower uh, reference line. So this is it, and then I'm going to draw the up one. The same. I'll just draw it on the um, on the the top reference here. This one. I'll, so I'm going to rotate a little bit. So roughly. Yep, at the same location. But
Okay, so now select these two reference line and create form. Okay, I'll also select this face and give it a material. So now that's it. So um, okay, so difference. So this this one spline through points. If I select this spline and if I rotate it to uh, you know elevation view and if I click on the keyboard the arrow key, so you will see I can just if I can move straight away move this up down to uh, adjust adjust the size of this curtain and also I can move the point individual point so for example this one I want it to go this way I want this point to go up so you know looks like um, the doors uh, the, maybe the doors open and then there's wind okay so for, if you need to do some render to you know that would be quite nice something like this yeah so this is the difference okay with spline through points you can do this but only um, the spline or the for this spline this you uh the the you know oh, sorry edit our uh, editing place you will see this spline it also it's it's only, only in one pl um, plane so it's always you know you can you can move the points you know wherever you, you like but it's always in this flat uh plane you can't do it vertically but for this one you can just do uh, you can just adjust the point so in any direction okay okay so let me finish this one so the last one so I'm going to do is uh, will be uh, an adaptive adaptive family so because I, uh, I probably I will use it for different project and for different windows, so of different size, different height, so it will be easier to model it as a adaptive adapt individual uh, family. So now let's create um, so a new generic model adaptive. Okay. So place two points. So one two. Create uh, make adaptive. I'm going to create a spine through these two points and uh, make, the, make it a reference line. So first I'm going to set work plan and pick this uh, reference line and DI dimension. Make sure you pick the point. So now we have this dimension. I'm going to create a reporting parameter. I'll just call it reporting RP and the instance check the reporting parameter. So this is a reporting parameter. So it tells us the dis distance between the two points and we will use this dimension to control the, uh, the width of our the family. Okay, so now we're going to place the first uh, reference line. Okay, so reference line, spline, draw a work plan, set a work plan. I'll place it on the horizontal work plan of this reference line. And then I'll just so start from uh, um, maybe just in 3D view. I'll just go here. So start from start from this point. So I'll just quickly quickly draw this um, and then finish it at this point. Okay. So escape. So let's have a look. See if 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 we need any constraint so it follows this line so which is good see yeah even the the, the length is following the you know the point the distance between the points so which is good which is good we don't need to use this reporting but let's see the next one so the so next one i'm going to place another one point uh, draw on work plan set work plan place the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on the point one and then drag this offset this point up so for example three meters high and then I'll create a height parameter I'll call it H okay so 
and instance okay okay another one point here so um set work plan pick the horizontal work plan of point two and place it on point two so then select this new point of associate the offset with the h2 also the h as well so now we can see if i move the point two so this oh hang on sorry what's happening here so control z if i move the point two yep yeah, so this point follows the point two now we can select these two points create a, 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 a spline and and make it a reference line so now i'm going to place the second the up uh, profile okay so still a uh, spline draw on work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan on this one and then i'll just um I'll, I'll just do it here so from this point first start and then i'll very roughly just play, uh, draw this line okay so and then finish at this point or oh, actually i can see something's happening here but i'll just leave it for now or we'll fix it later okay so i'll see if i drag this one we'll fix it still yeah that's okay so it looks like it's offset it's not picking that maybe i'll just drag this back to this point okay so let's have a look again drag this one all oh, good but see here um there's some issue here so let me try to move the rotate this so um i think the direction is okay the direct direction we don't need to uh, constrain for the direction but we need the length we need to constrain the length okay so what i'm going to do is go to um, um hang on, go to maybe floor plan i need to uh, hell, I can't see that. Sometimes you need to adjust the view range of the plan, so you need to click on this, and then here, so it will be your view range. So maybe I'll just change that to no, 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 no. Apply. Now I can see the this line here, and I'll use H I to isolate, and then do a dimension D I tab from this point to this point and then I'll give it a dimension so maybe um, L okay instance okay so now go to family types L equals reporting parameter RP so apply okay so HR now I'll go back to 3d view let's have a look of this so if I move point two so yep the length of the line, the, the length of the spline will match. Okay, let me try to move the point one. Yep, yeah, all good. Maybe this direction. Yep. Yeah. So that's it. So now I can select these two and create four. And maybe I'll just uh, create a material parameter for it. Uh, maybe instance okay okay so um, let me have a look so we have the height we have the reporting parameter for the length we have the material so now let's load this into the project so and also this time I, I didn't uh, create a, an offset because you know you can just move it so now we can place it so for example from here to here so that's it so i think it's good enough for your render and then we can change the height maybe 27 so if you need move just move it and if you need to change the height just use tab and select one of the points so you can you can adjust it okay so also the for the material, uh, I'll just apply the same material to it, and that's it. So if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.